All right, addicts, welcome to the Keep It Metal Show. I got the guys from Reign of Lies on the phone right now. Guys, how you doing? Uh, I'm doing really well. And, um, yeah, uh, yeah, really good, actually. Uh, my name is uh, Johnny. I'm the guitarist singer from Reign of Lies. Hey, uh, here's Yo-Yo Bianchi, um, the guy that usually takes care of the drums in the band. It's a pleasure to be here your show, man. Thanks for having us. Oh, man, cool. Thank you. Thank you. So, well, why don't you give us a little bit of history on Reign of Lies there, man. How long have you guys been together? Actually, the band, uh, actually, I started out with the project. I started by myself, and uh, it was like two years ago, when I, uh, yeah, really more, like three years ago, while I was living in London, and uh, I started like uh, a kind of one solo project from the band. While playing these things, uh, after I meet uh, our bassist like uh, Gregory Kelly, and uh, just after grooving with him the song, uh, we just find out that we have like a uh, really like awesome energy, and we just after this day that was actually one year and a half ago, we decided to yeah just find a drummer and our other guitarist, and uh, yeah, and uh, how we started like actually. With the band in 2013, it's where we find everyone, and uh, yeah, the band was completely well, I guess that was actually, yeah, uh, well, the, the history of my end at least uh, happened actually in uh, February this year, 2013. I'm uh, originally from, from Chile, from Santiago, and I just happened to be on, on vacation down there. And, you know, I didn't have a band back then. I mean, I had, you know, projects here and there, but nothing really steady and nothing really metal either, you know. And I'm a son of metal. So oh, wow. I just, you know, just chilling down there. And I got, you know, Johnny just contacted me. And, and there was this audition for the band, you know. And, it, you know, I only had like five days, like back in LA, you know, learned like five songs and, and rock, you know. So it was like, oh shit, I'm fucked up. <laughs> you know, but I, I don't know. And I just, I just, I just, while I was down there drinking and having fun, and just like listening to the songs all the time. And, and I learned there, you know, and I made it back to LA, just listening to the songs and the and shit, just kind of like there, yeah, drummed. And, and we were, you know, had a, a, like really the chemistry in the plane. I mean, I had a plane. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and, uh, you know, when we played, on, when we rehearsed, when we did the audition, everything was pretty cool, we got along. And, uh, well, and the rest of the stream was history, you know, I mean, it was a big dance for me because the dance was pretty extreme, you know, I mean, this guy just put like a freaking limit on it. Cool guys, yeah. cool. So, how'd you guys come up with the name Reign of Lies for the band? Well, okay. Just, uh, the name actually it was is a green thing because of the society kind of you know like days. Because as, as most the people know, the media, the radio, more uh, like you know, like uh, are controlled by one, two, three people all the same, and they take control over. On the top of everything, I kind of said, and they show us what they want we see. And actually, it's a, I think that's the big lie of our new generation because we have more media. It's really cool. I think it's a cool thing for us, most musicians, to communicate with people. But on the other hand, it, it makes us more manipulate, more easy to do. It was a kind of also just put the phone and uh, our lyrics too are kind of, each song are kind of involved in this, like uh, kind of.
Cool, cool, guys. So now, tell us about songwriting. Is it a one-person effort? Is it a, is it a group effort? Talk a little bit about it. Okay, I would say uh, what was happening for the album because uh, yeah, like uh, I said at the beginning, I started like a small project. Uh, I started writing almost all the songs, and after what happened, I tried to uh, just to put the, 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 the what I'm doing in me, like I take like uh, kind of midi midi drums, and I just try to put the, the pulse of the drums just to. Normally on, on the drummer, if I write the songs, uh, how I see the, you know, the sequence, kind of, but after, what he did, he takes all these really sequence and he plays it for real, and uh, yeah, he creates all the part by himself, but uh, yeah, I think, yeah, the album, the first line was, was created by myself, and uh, right, right, I mean, the, the album that Gianni talked about called The New Empire, he was most of his creation, I guess now that we have more, more chemistry of the band, like, you know, we went on an awesome tour recently, uh, uh, you know, all over the United States and Canada with uh, Mel Cash, Braid, and Lightning Source of Death. I guess that experience, you know, other than just rehearsing our ass off to prepare for that, just being on the road, then we kind of just got the real chemistry and brotherhood that you need to, to just go on, uh, you know, the rehearsal room, start writing stuff, and, 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 and kind of just blowing ass of band. So, so now, actually, when we came back and we got to the point that we need to start thinking about our next album, uh, yeah, uh, Jenny just looks on my face. <laughs> um, so I guess, you know, now that we're, like, writing new material, now it's a little bit more versatile in that aspect. Like, you know, Master, he's start with his writing some stuff, sharing, you know, uh, Gianni's always writing stuff. Even I had some, some songs, metal songs from the past that we were all sharing, so. I'm pretty sure the next album will be, you know, a little bit more, uh, what do you call it? It'll have more variety, like, as far as uh, input from each uh, band member, you know? Cool, cool, guys. So, you guys been on the road. What would you say are the best and the worst things about being on the road? Well, uh, I would say uh, the best things was, for well, myself, was definitely, like, uh, we say the chemistry uh, called us. Uh, like more we were playing uh, more we were happy like we just felt like uh, yeah I think yeah us four just we were talking the same with the same vision of things and I would say like uh, yeah that was one of the things the chemistry that we never fight with each other all the time the group we were kind of the clown of the bus we were all the time like a good like good mood to everyone and uh, and I think the the, the fun base and uh, all the people we crossed that was awesome I was like Right, because for us it was the first tour, the first tour, and actually no one knew us with the project. Who was new? And just the people were awesome. Like each standing, like we used to cross the hospitality was really awesome. They were like we human beings. We learned a lot about like talking with them, you know, about each place, kind of culture too. Because each time we used to move somewhere, we tried to go in a kind of typical place for eating or yeah, just like yeah, get get the, the, the vibe of the place and. Uh, Uh, 
Cool guys, yeah, cool. Jesus. <laughs> so, how about the the strangest things you guys seen on the road? Too funny, too funny. Well, the first song I want to play tonight, guys, is I Am The 619. Can you tell us something about that tune? Check this out. This is I Am The 619 from Reign of Lies. We'll be right back.
All right, addicts, welcome back to the Keep It Metal show. I got the guys from Reign of Lies on the line. Guys, how's it going? Hey, cheers, man. We're sharing a couple of old ones here. Oh, you're in California, man. Yes, fuck, I'm singing. Yeah. Cool, cool. So now, when did you guys first start playing your uh, instruments, and when did you first start getting the music, and how did you know that this is what you wanted to do with your life? Now, who would you say are your musical influences? As a band. What, what musical influences as a band? Yeah, or individuals. I mean, you know, who who would you guys say inspired you? Uh, 
guys are original you sound original to me uh that i think you guys sound like rain of lies man that's what i think So now, when you guys aren't writing, when you're not touring, when you're, you know, you're, you're not working as a band, what do you guys like to do for a day off? What do you guys enjoy doing? So now, what would you guys say is your most memorable moment as a band? Yeah, it was pretty cool. Also for me, 
Cool guys. So let's take things the other way, man. Do you guys have any spinal tap moments or your least rock star moments you want to share with us? Like when things went bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Next song I want to play is White Noise. What can you tell us about that tune? I made this up too because 
I hear sometimes also kids or whatever they are, you know, shy. But so sometimes they don't know what can happen to them. And these things can maybe help them, I hope, that uh, if they have a problem, this thing is not normal, you know, as the parents do play like this. And maybe I made, in a sense, these songs to help them to speak with someone else, maybe, you know, like, to be like, you know, it's not normal, don't be shy, man. No, it's not normal to be abused or whatever. It's just like, you know, you should do something. And I think this little message like this, because sometimes talking with others is difficult, but even like when they become teenagers, you know, 13, 14, they listen to music, now, whatever, just sometimes really, really can make them like, have you with the courage to move on and speak to someone else. And I think that can be a, a great thing. Very cool, very cool. All right, addicts, check this out. This is White Noise from Rain of Lies. We'll be right back.
All right, addicts, welcome back to the Keep It Metal Show. We got the guys from Reign of Lies on the phone. Guys, how's it going? Hey, man, we're uh, still sweating here, having a good time talking to you. Just thank you again for having us and uh, being so awesome, man. Thank you, man. Thank you. So, now, let's talk about you guys for a second. Uh, would you guys say you evolved as a band uh, since first coming together? guys cool so what advice would you guys have for bands just starting out Kind of grasp to this, like you can, you can play a lot of stuff on your own, you know. 
sharing it with more people, you know. And that's the whole experience of music. I mean, it's, it's about this community, you know, and, 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 and just showing people stuff and, and throwing a, you know, a grenade out there, like, of a, a, your, your message, what you got to say, you know. And, um, well, what else do I have to say about that? Believe in yourself, man, because, like, a lot, of, a lot of times you'll, you'll reach that point where, where you're just tired, you want to throw everything, you know, like, out, out the window and then just give up on your dream or the... Uh, dude, I mean, nothing... Nothing comes that unless they're like fucking, you know, you still tell your social media or something and, and become a part of it. You're a lot of fan of two years or something. But, you know, the things we need on will, will eventually they take a lot of work, dude. So that, that's a key thing there, like work, 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 sacrifice, man, especially the music world. Like, a lot of sacrifice, but don't forget what, what you're worth as a musician and a person, dude. And please, musicians out there, don't be assholes, dude. Don't be a rock star. Like, be humble, man, and respect people around you, and that good energy will come back to you. And I will have something in this story, like, uh, most of the people, I think, you know, when they fucking see technique stuff, but guys, don't forget, the people come live, they, they come to see you. Just put the stuff in their place. You want sometimes they look in your eyes, they're like, to share a hook on you, they want to drink a beer with you. I think that's the point of music, like... Uh, yeah, I think if they want to see technique, maybe they look at a video of great artists or whatever of the world. Live, I think live is a different world. You should share something with people and uh, as fuck, don't forget. When you come to get the chance to talk, you know, it would be hard to talk of all life. You do what you like in, in the life. I think if you drink what you like, you should be fine. You should smile in the ass. However, it's been in the ass, I don't know. Right, maybe. They really have a day job of it. <laughs> <laughs> cool, guys, cool. So now, are you guys on a label? Are you looking for one? cool so now what would you say is the ultimate goal for the band Guys, have any upcoming shows you want to talk about? And now putting the, the money in. Yeah. 
activities. You know, cause, like, you know, some promoters will ask for, for big festivals. They will ask for media clips other than all the, you know, stuff that you get in your promo pack, you know. So, uh, you know, actually we are, we're, we're, we're releasing right now, uh, starter campaign for the clips. guys cool so now you guys got a, a YouTube project going on you want to talk about that So where else can the listeners find Reign of Lies? Cool, very cool. Well, the last song I want to play tonight 
is uh, the title track from the CD, The New Empire. What can you tell us about that tune? Well, The New Empire was kind of uh, something like uh, the title track of the CD, but it's kind of like the title track Very cool, guys. Very cool. Well, Johnny, yo, yo, I want to thank you guys for calling in tonight, man. It's been an honor. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Thanks to you. That was awesome. Uh, Pleased to talk to you. And thanks a lot for uh, having you there. That was an awesome moment with you. And I really appreciate all the questions. And, uh, yeah, thanks for your time and, and the, good, uh, the good review you gave us when you said, uh, we sound like we have lies, no one else. guys cool all right hang on one second guys check this out gang this is the new empire from reign of lies we'll be right back mm-hmm. 